Crafters, this is Claudia with White Sugar Designs and today I'm getting to work not only on one of my own projects but it also happens to be one of the um, December challenges by Cory the Reset Girl. It is one of the challenges, this new challenges here replaced what she used to do, um, the listers got a list and so you can find more information about her new challenges um, in her Facebook group called the Happy Place Club. And so this challenge today, for or the one I'm working on today, is about my one little word for 2018 and why. So um, I get to work on this every year anyways. This little journal here holds all the um, my one little words that I have since I started back in 2009. And so... Um, this year, my word is surrender, and you'll get to see that in a second. Um, I didn't show my sketch for this layout, which I'm kind of bummed because I did do one, but I thought I showed it to you, but I didn't. It would have been nice because you would know kind of the direction that I'm going. Um, this awesome set of stickers that you're looking at here, uh, which would be the ones that I'll be using to create this layout. It's one of Corey's new um, kits, or it's actually a bundle. <laughs> and um, it is the Layering Love, I'm sorry, the Layering Circle Love Bundle. So it comes with 20 sheets of beautiful, gorgeous circles. And it can, the circles are two different sizes. And in this layout, I challenge myself, well, how can I use these circles? and um, and you'll get to see how I did it. So I'm incorporating my word and the circles and a few other little things um, that you'll get to see. And so what I've started to do is um, I sprayed the page with some Heidi, Heidi Shine and some um, Glimmer Mist just to add a little something to the pages, a little texture to them. And I am centering my word into the page and I will add circles above and below and I am using this ruler by American Craft and I believe it's called Thickers. It's one of my favorite rulers. I actually, you'll see me using several measuring tools, <laughs> one of them being my fingers. And um, this ruler is pretty bendy, it's pretty flexible, but the thing that I love is that it's clear and see-through and I'm able to measure um, it's just easier I, I should have what I should have done is create a grid for the circles if I would have done like a tic-tac-toe type of grid and there I'm centering using this ruler because this ruler has a lot bigger numbers the other one has smaller tiny numbers that I can't see so but it's really awesome and you'll see why if you use it as a way to hold your stickers there there's my other measuring system <laughs> my grandmother used to do that all the time and um, and so the ruler helps with the lines the lines just it's just easier when you can see through and line you know layers so I um, that little pouch there is what what the circles come in and all 20 sheets come in that little zipper pouch there and I'm using it to make sure I'm not gonna put some glue onto my table there and my little tweezers are also coming handy when dealing with tiny little letters and these you know I use my Cricut to cut these letters um, but um, they kind of move sometimes, you know, they're, they're, they can come out um, crooked if you're not careful. So. Um, so there, I'm trying to just glue that letter, the last letter there, and continue measuring and making sure the left, the bottom, and the top, um, I'm measuring using that other um, sheet of stickers there, because if I stack two on top of each other, they actually fit perfect onto that page so I'm using that just to make sure that I have left enough space and there you can see how handy that ruler comes in I'm taking it off and there it held the stickers um, really nice and now I 
just do some light lines on the page to make sure that I'm lining out the other circles semi straight and I knew because I measure the circles and I measure the page I knew roughly that I could only go three across and five from um, vertically but the fifth one which is the center one I took that row out and that's where my word fits so the bundle comes with tons and tons of colors and designs on the circles so I selected a few sheets that kind of match you know all the colors match some turquoise and flowers and pinks and oranges and when I select what I want to use, I kind of make sure that I don't put two of the same color next to each other or two that have similar patterns next to each other. It kind of adds a little bit more interest where you have a variety and that they're not right next to each other. And so the bundle comes with a sheet that is strictly black and white. There's another sheet that is all maps the background uh, its maps which is super awesome and again if you decide to scrap lift this layout and please feel free to do that um, use a grid a grid would be a lot easier just make sure you do your pre-measuring and use a ruler not your fingers <laughs> Uh, and this will this process will go a lot faster so I always seem to run out of time I keep talking and talking and then the video is gonna end and I don't get to say what I want to say so I'm gonna start saying it now since I have a little time since I'm still measuring I will add all the links guys at the end of all the products that I'm using here the ruler and the stickers um, these stickers I still I believe they're still available in Corey's uh, shop. There, they, she does have other circles that are not stickers. She does have awesome selection of circles in her print and snip shop. And you will see at the end of this, towards the end of the video, I do go into a couple of those sheets and use some of those pieces there. But, um, when it comes to Corey's kits, they sell out quick. So my advice to you is sign up either on the Facebook group, her newsletter on her blog, in her, um, in the shop, so that you can get updates and be ready to jump in as soon as they are released. I should tell you, I am part of the Reset Girls design team. So I'm very lucky when it comes to that. So I get... To play and design with these awesome kits and hope that you find some inspiration and like I said feel free to scrap lift and copy anything you want from me here I cannot tell you to do the same for other people but for me you have my permission I get a lot of um, comments on my Instagram about people saying I have all the supplies but I never know how to start and where to do it and how to do it and so what I told someone is you know what feel free to copy me start copying every single layout I have and I promise you soon enough your own style will start emerging because that's just how it works you know I I look at other people's um, designs and their videos and even if I find inspiration you know what there are things that you like, there are things that you don't like, there are things that you will repeat and things that you won't. And that is the one thing that starts developing your own design, your own style. You know, you if you see my videos, you'll notice that I tend to doodle a lot on my, on my pages. Um, I also tend to do a lot of hidden journaling. And those are kind of my own things because that's what I gravitate to. And you will soon start developing your own things. You'll start thinking, you know what? I like that. So I'm going to start doing it on my own. And then you start putting your own spin to it. So I, you know, my suggestion and you have my permission, 
go ahead, scrap lift away. <laughs> That's what I love sharing. So I that washi tape that you see there is part of one of Corey's um, kits and it came in the this month kit the cherish kit um, which that um, sheet that you saw there that has all the challenges that is part of the crafty girl play kit the cherished uh, collection for the month of December and the washi tape came in this month's kit so sorry guys if it's already sold out so I used all the same color skim skim um, circles and you know just when you work on a design just you know one thing I can tell you sometimes is this is just to pick three colors and stick with three colors throughout your design and it just makes it a lot easier so um, like I said guys I will link up all the items that you see me using here the letters I did cut with my Cricut um, I have already posted this Ay, that pen just kept on rolling um, I've already posted this on the Facebook group on Corey's Facebook group the happy place club and someone asked me if this little drawing here was a stamp and I told her no I hand drew this and here it is it's my little dandelion I didn't go into detail of why I've chosen this word but if you are interested there is a video that I have posted and is um, I set up it was a setup video for my planner for my 2018 planner and on the very front I created a uh, an inspiration board on the very first page and it's all about my one little word surrender and I put several images and little things that just in you know um, made sense to me and inspired me and this little dandelion was one of them the word surrender also means to let go to me to me it means to let go it means to let go of trying being perfect of trying making things happen do what you do because you love it not because you want a certain outcome from it and so uh, let go is part of that and this little dandelion kind of represents that it releases um, the little pod the little seed pods and that's what that means so here is uh, those two sheets that I was talking about. I have way more than that, but you see two of them here. These are part of Corey's print and snip shop. And I am using that awesome little frame there, little phrase that says, let your, um, let your faith be bigger than your fear. And it fit there just perfectly. And um, that little butterfly also has to do with surrendering of letting go <clears throat> and again if you want to find out more information you can I will link that other video that I have what's going on with my throat <clears> throat> I'm trying not to cough so I'm coming to the end of the video guys please let me know if you have any questions I do have some close-ups of this layout at the end I hope you found some inspiration. I hope you find some time for yourself to get some crafty time. It is what we all need to keep our sanity, I think, sometimes. I'm adding a last few little details. Some uh, little wood veneers there. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And what else? If you like it, let me know. I would love to know if you liked it and if there's anything else I can show you something that would inspire you so um, that's it guys um, make time for yourself make time to get some crafty time and until next time see you later bye